I first heard about Birthright Israel when I had two friends at my college campus said they just came back from it and it was life changing. You know, you gotta go, you gotta go. And for me, it was like, I'm, there, there's no, for me, I was very clear, there's no way I'm gonna go. That's where bombs go off. I'm not gonna be accepted there. There was no way. So even though everyone was talking about it, I always saw it as that's cool for them. That's not cool for me. And then um, the, the rabbi on my campus, um, he was a really great guy. He was saying, you know, listen, Aurel, this trip would never put you in a place that would get you in trouble. You should go. And I went on the trip, and I, I went completely um, expecting to not enjoy it. I thought when I got there to Israel, they wouldn't accept me into the country. Because my mindset was, they're not going to believe I'm Jewish. And, you know, I went there, and, and everyone accepted me. And it was, it was kind of weird, and I, I just kept waiting for the moment where I would be you know, pushed away or, or, or questioned or doubted or, or whatever it might be. I witnessed a, um, a soldier who was Israeli. He had a keep on, was in the Israeli army, but he was brown, just like me. I was blown away and I was like, there's another one. Like I'm not alone. I was just so excited because my whole life, it was like me and my brother, that was it. So I ran over to this guy. I said, I am so excited to meet you. You're a brown Jew, I'm a brown Jew, this is a moment. Then he said to me uh, something that forever changed my life. You know, he said, in Israel, there's no Jew, brown Jew, you're just Jewish. And it was the first time I even thought about not saying I'm a brown Jew or a Jew of color, I could be just Jewish. So we go to the hotel, it's Friday night. We're praying now, I mean, this, this, it's like this crescendo is building. It's like this, 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 this energy is building. And I remember finally understanding what the feeling was. For the first time in my life, for the first time, I was proud to be Jewish. I actually screamed it out at the top of my lungs in the middle of Jerusalem. I go, I love being Jewish. And it was almost like a movie because there was a guy across the street who said, I too love being Jewish. It was in that moment I could almost like bottle it that I said, I'm gonna to totally own, I'm Jewish. And it, it just incredibly changed the trajectory of my life. When I got back from birth, right, me and my brother, we made like a little pact. And we said, you know what? Uh, there's a lot we don't know, but what we do know is it doesn't matter where we started, it matters what we do from here. We decided every year we're going to learn something more about our Jewish identity. We're gonna do something we've never done before. We started going to Shabbat services, and we started, you know, eating and not eating certain things. I go to services every Saturday. I have uh, a beautiful wife and two wonderful children uh, that go with me every Saturday, and my kids go to uh, Hebrew day school. But I wanted my kids to be able to read Hebrew and to be able to, to speak it, and, and those things became important to me, and they weren't before. And then I, I was lucky enough, really fortunate, to uh, have someone from Birthright Israel Foundation reach out to me and asked me if I would mind telling my story. I shared my story um, to donors and uh, the experience was incredible. I guess I did well enough that they said, hey, could you help some of our other uh, alumni tell their stories? And I, I, I love public speaking. I'm a professional speaker by, by trade. And it's hard because for a lot of people, they have this incredible just breadth of an experience. So how do you like distill that down to just a few minutes. So helping them do that, and it's been just a, a privilege and an honor to help people um, find out how to not just feel their experience, but to put words to their experience so that others can be brought into that. I think it's a, it's a beautiful gift, and I've loved working with Birthright Israel for, I don't know how many years, it's been so many years, I don't even know at this point, but um, truly grateful, and every time I get to share my story, it feels like the first time.